Okay, this video is going to go over tying a woolly bugger. It's just a classic pattern. Uh, imitates a lot of different things. Bait fish, leech. Uh, it can be tied tons of different ways. Uh, if you don't know what a woolly bugger is and you're fly fishing, you should definitely start tying them because this is a great uh, beginner pattern to tie and just to fish. It's uh, You can be fished a lot of different ways, especially with the tungsten bead that we have in this one. Uh, just makes it a little bit more versatile, a little bit more weight means it can be fished more ways um, <clears throat> so yeah this one we're gonna pop out this one is done here this is a black I use a, a grizzly olive uh, hackle feather for our body that's why it's this uh, mostly uh, this olive color and it's a fluorescent fluorescent pink uh, tungsten bead from uh, hairline this is just a countersunk bead and it's all on a A-Rex it's uh, FW, the Freshwater Series 580 in a size 6. So, we're going to pop this out and tie one with you guys. So, yes, this is the, once again, it's a 580. The, I believe it's the Wet Fly hook from A-Rex. Size 6. And this is a 3.8 millimeter. Uh, countersunk tux, tungsten bead in fluorescent pink. Uh, fly, uh, thread we're going to use for this fly is our Vivas 6 out in black. And yeah, we're just attaching our <coughs> thread onto our hook. I'm going to come in with a little bit of lead on this. Just to, mostly just to keep our bead in place. Uh, this is about we're gonna use about an inch here. Just gonna wrap it around, and the size of the lead is the 025 lead. Just gonna wrap that around our shank. Okay, so once you got that all jammed up in there with your thread, just bring your thread back to our bend. Just give that a little spin. Okay, so we got that thread spun up. We got our clump of marabou. This is black marabou here. It's going to measure about just past one hook shank. And then we're going to lash that down top of our hook. Try and keep this material near the top and then we're gonna pull our butts up cut them out and just secure this material down to the shank of our hook okay now we're gonna come in with some flash I have holographic flashaboo in black cut off of the hank in half then I uh, take one piece I'm gonna cut it in half again so this is quarter length and I'm gonna put one on each side just measure it back to the uh, edge of our marabou double that piece back on my side and I'm gonna do the same on your side Okay, we have that doubled up on either side of our hook. Now we're going to come in with our wire. I'm going to use the Uni uh, Copper, Ultra Wire and Copper. This is the Uni Soft Wire, I believe, from Hairline. I'm just going to attach that and hang it off the back of our fly here. I'm just gonna. This is where I tie my uh, woolly bugger a little bit different than most people. A lot of people will tie things in and then use the wire at the end to tie off at the front. I will tie everything to the back, and then I am going to move everything forward all together and tie each one off individually at the head. So we have our wire. Next material is going to be our hackle. This is a uh, off of one of the grizzly. Uh, 
saddle hackle patches the bugger hackle patches that we sell at the shop here these are great for tying buggers it's what they're made for <laughs> uh so to prep this material i'm gonna wet my fingers and pull back like so on our hackle feather and this is just gonna help these uh each individual hackle to just stay oriented the way that we want it so we're gonna pull back Get her a little bit of a tip here. See that? Tying that in. Just gonna clip off the little bit of excess here in the front. Clean up our body a little bit more. Come back to where everything is tied in. Now we're gonna come with ice dub. In this color I use uh, black, peacock black, sorry. Just gonna noodle this up onto our uh, thread here and move it forward across our shank. This is gonna be the body of the fly, the underbody, I guess you could say. A little bit more. Uh, of course, we want just a little bit more here. All right, we got a little bushy, but it's okay. We're going to tie it down a little bit more with all of these materials. So now we're going to come pick up our hackle feather and put it in hackle pliers if you want to. I'm not going to. I'm just going to do it by hand. I'm going to, as I'm palmering this feather forward, we're just going to keep preening back the individual hackles just so we're not trapping as many of them. Some of them are going to get trapped. And that's okay. We can clean them out. Uh, I cleaned them out actually a few times while I'm tying this fly. Okay, we got that palmered up to the front. Just gonna spin up our thread, come over our hackle feather with one, two wraps, pull everything back. One, two wraps in front. And we're going to cut out the stem of the hackle. Discard that. Just move all of our feathers around here. The hackles for the feather around. Then we're going to counter rib. So counter ribbing is we ran our hackle feather on clockwise. If you were to look at the front of the hook, we're going to go counterclockwise with our wire and this is to trap down this hackle feather even if some part of this hackle feather is to break it will not come out completely it will just come out to the you know the next spot where the wire uh overlaps it and it just makes your fly a lot more durable so as i'm coming through i'm giving this a little bit of a wiggle trying not to trap these uh hackles if i can Two wraps to tie it off. Just give this a little bit of a tug, make sure it's all good and tight. And clip off the rest of our wire. I'm just going to pull everything back, give a few good wraps, mash down the little bit of our wire there. Okay, and we're there. It's looking good, so we're gonna just do a couple half inches, finish this fly off here. Okay, we got our uh, thread half hitched off there. I'm just gonna hit this with some resin. I'm gonna use uh, my solar as thin. I'm gonna use a solar as thin for this one. Just gonna put one spot of it right on the top of our hook here. Right where we finished off with our wire and where we finished off with our thread. So it's just is gonna just lock both of those together and finish off the head of our fly. Just got a little too much. I'm just gonna wipe off before I hit this with a torch. 
and that is a woolly bugger. That's how I tie our woolly buggers. Um, tie them in a couple different sizes. Uh, there's also, we also sell um, just commercially available ones here at the shop, but um, the ones we tie are always on an A-Rex hook with a nice tungsten bead. Uh, just better quality than you're going to get from a commercial tire, you know, or a commercial uh, fly provider, I guess I should say. Um, woolly buggers are great flies for everything. Uh, I've, I've, I've honestly, I believe I've caught more fish on this or different species on this pattern than any other pattern <laughs> that I fish. I'm going to zoom in on here. Yeah, I fish this pattern a lot for all, all different kinds of species of fish, and it just it it works. It's a easy tie. It uh, like I said before, for beginners, it's a great tie because it teaches you different techniques like palmering the feather, um, how to use dubbing in a dubbing like well, not how to use it in a dubbing loop, but in a just noodling it on, which is just very basic uh, skills that every fly tire should know. And it teaches you a bunch of different ones, and it's an easy pattern that everyone can tie. You don't, even if you don't need, you don't end up putting in, say, your uh, copper wire, then it still <laughs> is a very effective pattern. It's just, it's not going to have as good of durability. That's the reason why I put it in there, is because I tie flies for a living. I have to have, you know, my flies have to hold up. No matter what, <laughs> I want my customers. I don't want my customers to say that oh my hackle feather is hanging out to the side after one fish, you know, because I've had it happen. I've learned by doing it, you know. Uh, we don't tie tons of super intricate patterns here at Queen City Guiding, but the ones that we do, it's uh, they're mostly guide flies. They work. They uh, do their purpose and they can be tied quickly and that's a big thing is that they can be tied quickly because i have to tie flies for here i have to tie flies for the shop i have to tie flies for our etsy store uh it's just they have to be quick they have to be quick and effective and that's what all of our flies all of our flies the other thing is that they're all tested they all have been tested before anyone can buy any of these flies i have caught fish on them i personally have caught fish on them and I, most of the time, have tied them, <laughs> or I've tied, uh, my close friends have, and I trust them to do a very quality job as well. So, uh, if you're still watching this video, thanks for watching, and uh, well, thanks for watching to the end. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and a lot of the materials available for this fly are available through our website, uh, queencityguiding.com. And uh, actually, the finished flies are also available through there in stock and um, if for, by ordering through the flies page. Ordering through the flies page, you're going to be uh, a week wait time is what my lead time is right now, which is nothing. So uh, once again, thank you for watching and have a great day.